Uh. All right. Two. Where you want me to step? Right here. All right. One, two, three. Two. Three. Ah. Oh. One more. Hit a backflip! Hit a backflip! Nope. I thought he was about to hit that hole! I hit it for you. There we go. Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. What's up, y'all? Damn, I ain't heard this song in a minute. Fuck. It's been like, I probably ain't heard this since I was like 16? You know how long ago 16 was, y'all? Damn, when you think 16, you're like, damn. You're a good look. You're a nice looking uh, 16 year old. Yeah. That's a weird situation right there. It's a weird situation. Have you ever had a weird situation? I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Today, I want to talk about, you know, my bad habits and my fitness. Um, pretty much what goes on, you know, with me, how I feel, you know, through what I've been through. Um, I've been through some depressional shit. I've been through, you know, just some times where I'm just like, fuck it. And uh, I mean, that's kind of how I live like anyway. But we'll get this workout in and in the process, I'm going to pour things out to you. Hey, don't touch cheese. You already know it don't matter. It don't matter if it's arm day, leg day, back day. You can wear this shirt any day, okay? And we got the new alpha clothing, the drip. The drip, you know what I'm saying? Stylized right here. I'm looking fresh, bro. And how live you? Fresh, fresh. So we're gonna do some arms today. We're gonna start off with some pull-ups, uh, work the biceps, get the biceps going as far as the blood flow, and then we'll work out of that into the triceps. So that being said, sit high in your windows pitch black. I'm a friend of the city and nobody fucking with me. Right. Man, I can't do this shit right here, man. Oh, dude gonna have to move out the way. Hey. Nah. We do four sets of 10 with the chin-ups. I can't drink protein shakes. I, 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 I think it's the soy. It has to be soy. Because even when I eat sushi, I start getting a little itchy. Not as crazy as when I eat drink a protein shake, but yeah, I'm gonna stick to the plant-based protein. Plant-based protein. I need to stay away from that soy anyway. When I, I'm, when I say heavy, I'm not in, a, not in a sense to where I drink to what I'm like dumb, stupid, drunk. I never drink till I'm dumb, stupid, drunk. I drink till I'm like feeling pretty open and good. A little bit more personality comes out. Not really worried about what people, you know, catch me doing or whatever. I get, I get that drunk, but not drunk to where, and I never get hung over either, which is another thing, which is bad. I, I rarely get hung over, uh, besides unless we have nights like Vegas. <laughs> then, yeah. Um, but, you know, earlier, La earlier this year and last year, I did go through a little drinking problem. Um, my dad used to be a very heavy alcoholic. And, you know, does that have some effect on me? You know, kind of yes and no, because I know from what he's done and all the shit he's been through, through all that and the family has been through, you know, it's, it's um, you know, I should have been able to react off of that and know what not to do. But I'm the type of person of, I like things that make me feel a little better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, only thing about drinking that I don't like is just, I don't like to get to the point to where I'm just stupid. And that's one thing I just hate. Um, but I drink a lot, I drink weekly. And I know a lot of you are probably asking though, how does drinking affect your fitness? And 
to me, it's just like the only thing that I see that it really, um, you know, makes a, a super negative is the, the fact that I get either hungry, really hungry when I'm drinking, or when I drink, I start drinking like bad things like sodas or stuff with it. And that's really like one of the main things. So it's just more so about calories rather than how I physically feel in the gym. Um, so I can get a little bit out of shape, which is, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys already know you can get out of shape for drinking too much. That's why I try to stick to tequila, Reposado, Don Julio. You already know, all right? Tequila, Don Julio, but I drink it with ginger beer. So I, I always make Mexican mules is what I drink. So if you haven't tried that, definitely try that shit out. Cause that shit's bomb and it's dangerous. And it's dangerous because it's so good, you don't even really realize you're drinking liquor until you get to that fifth drink and you're like, oh shit. And at that fifth drink, that's like almost 100 because it's ginger beer, so it's like 30 grams of sugar. So, you know what I'm saying, or you know, whatever. So, you're having about 100 or some grams of sugar by that fifth or sixth drink, and that shit starts to just add up. And if you're a guy like Jeff who likes Jaeger and Red Bulls, then do what is it, a Jaeger bomb? That's what it's called. You like Jaeger bombs. Sugar. Jaeger tastes, like, tastes like cough syrup. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff a low-key prep boy. But uh, you know, thinking about the drinks and how many you know calories or sugars are in the, the liquor itself, then on top of the additional juices or pineapples, Coke or Sprite or whatever it is you're adding in, that, that stuff adds up. So if you're not mentally prepared to take on the calories <laughs> and see it, you know, the next day or so, then you're, you're kind of screwed. For me, myself, I know what I'm getting myself into. Like I said, I drink, I'm, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys, I drink probably twice a week, two times a week. Matter of fact, today I'm having a drunk stream. So I'm gonna be taking shots of Jaeger uh, while I'm gaming. And I do all these things for entertainment. I enjoy it, I know the risk that I'm taking. And you know, I just make sure I'm mentally over it rather than under it so that I know when to stop. And that's like the key, knowing when to stop. Control. Four sets of 10, pull-ups. What would we do? We'll do four sets of 12, curls. Although I'm still drinking, I am losing weight right now. And it's, I woke up at 11. It's 1.14, I have not eaten yet. I went to bed at three. Um, haven't eaten yet. When I get home, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm eating like two things a day right now. Cause I'm, I'm so busy shooting, you know, the videos, working out and then streaming. So I'll go home, probably eat a salad and in the middle of the stream, order some food and have some tacos. <laughs> so, I can still kind of get to eat what I want, but I literally just have one big, nice meal at the end of the night, because I'm more hungrier at night than the beginning of the day. When I wake up, I'm not hungry at all. When I work out, I'm not hungry at all. I don't get hungry after my workouts. I can literally work out, not eat for the next three hours. Drink something, yeah, but like, yeah. Bitch ass. One more set. I always make sure I'm drinking water. I probably try to kill. A, I'll try to kill the whole thing, but I'm probably gonna kill a little bit a, a, a more than half for sure today. I'm always on greens. I take my green supplements, organ organ detox, uh, because not only do I drink, I smoke hookah, and I smoke hookah three times a day, probably. Like I have, I have really bad habits. Like drinking and hookah, and like just those, those are like the two things. Like that's it. Just drinking hookah, hookah every day, every single day for the last two years. I've smoked hookah almost, almost every single day, unless I'm on a trip. And um, and like you know what? When I'm like when I don't have it, I don't crave it. I don't crave. It. I could be gone for ten days, you know, out from my house. But the fact I have like I have ADHD, so. I need something going on in my, like even when I play games, at the loading screens or some shit. I gotta smoke hookah or something. Like, cause I, I hate waiting. 
and I hate not doing anything. So my mind has to be constantly occupied. That's why I have an issue dedicating myself lately to something. I have to really find worth in something to dedicate to in order for me to um, like really focus on it. And uh, like I said, I, I, I didn't know for the longest that I had ADHD. I just thought I just had issues, but I was a very hyper kid growing up, very just everywhere, and uh, I'm still like that. So, but it's weird because I'm like I'm such, I'm such an introvert. Like what you see right now is like the YouTube Tehran. In person, like I'm pretty chill. Like I, I fuck around a lot, you know, say I joke around, but I'm very chill. So, uh, that being said, yeah, like that ADHD and the hookah just kind of, <laughs> and uh, never look back. Uh, this is easy bar. I do not, I do not straight bar curl anymore. Just that rotation in my wrist, it's just so bad that it hurts. I don't like, I don't, and I don't, I don't feel good. It doesn't feel good to me. So always easy bar because this is not natural. This is, you know, that, that's a normal, that's a normal feel. Now you're having to force yourself to be like this, which is much more focused on that rotation rather than focusing on the muscle. So I'd rather dumb it down and focus on the muscle rather than so much other shit. Hey, bro, that, that fireball, fat burner shit be heavy sweating, boy. Whew, look at that under titty sweat right there. Correction, so I just, I mentioned about the straight bar. The only way I do straight bar is the reverse. So this feels better than an open palm right here. So I can do, I can do just like this. But even still, nah, I'd rather, I'd rather have the easy bar. Just because it's just a better feeling. It's just a better feeling. But if, you're, if you guys are having pains, you know, flex the, flex the forearms, you know what I'm saying? Get some wrist mobility and just stay off the straight bar. Like nobody's making you do this shit, I don't know why. Like all the crazy shit I do, I'm not in pain or feel pain when I'm doing them. You know what I'm saying? And if I felt pain, I wouldn't be doing it, period. So if something's uncomfortable, then I just stop, you know? And that just lets me know that I don't have the mobility or whatever movements that I need in that, uh, in the, that area to, to be doing it correctly. So if I can't do it correctly like that, then I'm not gonna do it. There's, there's too many people that are willing to take an injury or very, you know, irritation and shit just to grow a fucking muscle. Come on, man. Next thing you know, you're not gonna be able to do this shit no more because you've been, the, the, the thing that you, you shouldn't be doing that you're doing now, and you're not even gonna be able to work that muscle no more, because why? Now that shit's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Now you can't now you can't turn your palm anymore. You can't get into that position because you was forcing it rather than working it out first and then going back to it. So everything I do, I've worked, even the crazy shit, I've worked myself up to that point. So I know what I'm capable of doing. I know what I can do. That doesn't mean you guys should do it too. Some shit I just do for show just because I can fucking do it. And I mean, that, that's just how I am. I do shit just because I can do it, you know? But at the same time, I know what's safe for me. I know what I'm capable of. You know, people tell me, oh, that's Toronto, that's crazy. You shouldn't be doing shit like that. I mean, what, what I do is entertainment, it's knowledge, and it's also, you know, as in entertainment, it's a circus act. <laughs> you know, I'm not calling myself a clown. <laughs> Put a nose right here. <laughs> not calling myself a clown, but at the same time, I do things just for pure entertainment. And you don't go to a circus and see these people doing wild shit and you don't be like, Oh no, that's stupid. He shouldn't be doing that. No, you're there in amazement and awe. You know, they're my, you know, crazy high off the ground doing flips and shit, riding on elephants and tigers and lions and whatever. Yo, you go for the entertainment. And that's what I want to bring, you know, the entertainment, the knowledge, whatever. So, I'm talking a lot. We got hammer curls.
Cousin Skeeter. You know, watch Cousin Skeeter. Not the show, the dude. Twenty. Get the triceps warm. I've been doing skull crushers a lot lately with dumbbells rather than barbells. Oh! <laughs> I almost bust my shit. I'm affected by is of course the hookah in my lungs. Uh, I, even though I, you know, drink water, try to do the organ detox stuff, uh, just because I smoke. Um, yo, shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> I do, I do experience some heavy breathing sometimes, um, and usually I only notice it when I'm still. I only notice heavy breathing when I'm like gaming on stream and people be like, yo, Teron, you like fucking Darth Vader in that mic, bro. <laughs> you be like, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's funny because like, I'm like, damn, is that the, the smoking? And like, because I was kind of gaining weight too. Is that is that because of both of them or just the smoking or like what? And, uh, but I don't feel that so much when it comes to working out. I still feel the same working out. I can do, you know, high intensity training. And like I said, I smoke at least three times a day. Three times a day. I smoke your hookah three times a day. Hookah is like worse than cigarettes. So, you know, you, you smoke a pack of cigarettes. Like one, one setting of hookah is like almost a pack of cigarettes. Right? I'm an there, I, I, I can't game without like smoking hookah, bro. Like, uh, so yeah, like I don't, I don't feel any, anything when it comes to like running. Like my, my conditioning ain't the greatest but it's, you know, above average, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that alone, and if I really, and, and I make sure that I'm constantly doing some type of cardio. Like, I, I have to make sure that, all right, I'm, I'm already like doing some damage internally from those two, so I have to make sure that I try my best to like keep up with that and not fall behind. So, Morty, that is, um, yeah, I'm sweating. So that's that when it comes to like the smoking and shit. I'm not saying, and this, look, everybody, this is not, I'm not, I'm not saying that, these are things you should do. You're your own human being. 
you should you know, approach things cautiously and understand what you're getting yourself into. And I think that if you can have that and, and um, either you're gonna stay away from it or take care of yourself as best as you can. I have my demons, other people have their own. And you know, I've accepted those things. And do I try to like keep away from it as much as possible? Yeah, but when I feel like, you know, it's just there, it's just there. So I do decline because I like the stretch you get, you know, from all the way back here to the angle you're at. Three, two, eight. Ah, ah, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh shit, boy. That's that shit, boy. We out here. We feeling good. We're going to uh, get some abs. Ah, ta, ta. Ha. All right, I'm done. That's enough abs. Titty sweat, underarm sweat.